the huh? What's up guys? Robert here and welcome to a new let's play. Um yeah, I'm not doing Zelda. No, that doesn't mean I'm not done with Zelda. See? Now if you're like like a subscriber and you saw that I uploaded a video called Let's Play Banjo Kazooie Part 1 Blind Let's Play. Well, that's not happening because I don't like blind let's plays because I thought it was gonna be fun and all that. It's not fun for me. Um, I recorded like five episodes and I just realized that I was not enjoying the game because I was, you know, like if I'm playing a game, like first time I ever played in my life, I like to play it like I don't have to, I don't want to comment it, you know, when I get inversed in the story. And that video was recorded like ages ago, so, you know, so I'm gonna do a 100% walkthrough of Banjo Kazooie. I'm playing on the Xbox Live Arcade version, and uh, this game was originally for the N64. But hey, let's get started. As you can see, Xbox 360, Banjo Kazooie. All right, so this is uh, an old file. This is the file that oh, no, it's not the file that I use was that one. You see, I played an hour and 48 minutes. Yeah, I had 23 jig jiggies and had 200 notes. You know, it wasn't pretty well. But hey, uh, I cannot really. I don't. I don't like over commenting of any of my footage. So let's do it again. You know what? I like sleeping, so let's delete this one. And let's erase the safe. Are you sure you want to be? Yeah, I, I want to be sure. Yes, to select the game. Okay. All right. So I am going to read some of the dialogue, but uh, I'm not gonna read all of it just because it's, it's hard to keep up. But uh, this is definitely uh, a very interesting game, and uh, I, I again, it's not part of my childhood. I never really, like heard of it. But then again, I heard of it like right now. Um, I've been actually been watching a playthrough by this guy on the Rooster Teeth channel, on the Let's Play channel, actually. And it got me interested, and I'm here playing now, Banjo Kazooie. And this is, uh, Gruntilda. Ding pot, ding pot, by the bench! Who is the nicest looking wench? Why, it's Grunty, any day. She really takes my breath away. <coughs> yes, you're right. I am rather proud of my looks. Get me out from the crowd. <laughs> that was a horrible laugh. Don't, don't, don't do that, kids. That's gonna get you... No, that's gonna get you in trouble. Er, uh, but there is this girl. What do you mean? This cannot be. There's no one prettier than me. <laughs> Why, it's Tootie, young and small. She's the prettiest girl of all. No, 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 you must be mad. Nicer beauty can't be had. <laughs> Unfortunately, I think you're fine. It's Tootie. She's cute and kind. And she's gonna shake her head and then turn around and freeze. She's got a sweet scar, though. Well, we'll see about that. <laughs> oh, that's sorry. I tried to over. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for trying to overdo the laugh. No, I. I that can. No one can ever do Grunty's laugh like she does it. So I will not try it. That's Tootie. And I like how they live like they live like right next to the the witch's lair. Hey, it's Mr. Mole, or I like to call him Bottles, because you know his name is Bottles in the game. <laughs> yeah. Hi there, uh, Tootie. Uh, what are you going to do? As you can see, the dialogue in this game it's kind of a little bit slow. I mean, later in the game, if you press it, you can speed it up, but I'm mashing A, and I am not mashing it. Um, but good luck to the subtitles, because you know, uh, if I do talk over the cutscenes, I'm sorry. Uh, I will definitely read every single dialogue that Grunty does because I love doing Grunty's voice So I'm sorry if I do again like say wake me up. I, it's just I don't know. I don't like I don't know I cannot think of a voice for Banjo If a Judy thinks she's fairer than me, I'll steal her looks and ugly she'll be <laughs> But yeah, I don't know Grunty is probably like one of my favorite villains on a video game you know, like, you know, you know, it's cartoony. This game is different. Like, this game, this reminds me a lot of, uh, Super Mario 64, like, the, the like, the, the gameplay, it's, it's kind of, like, it's, it's similar, and you'll see why in a minute, in, uh, in a minute. Come to me, my little pretty, you'll soon be ugly, what a pity, ha! <laughs> that was a horrible laugh. I need to stop, I need to stop faking the laugh. Okay, I don't know how to laugh like a witch, but anyways, so... Don't scratch and bite, my little bear. You'll soon need a big underwear. That line always that line always creeped me out. I've done this. I've done this video three times. Just saying, um, but this was before I tried it. I did it once and it didn't work out. Then I did it twice and that video came out and it was up for like a day. And then I'm here and I decided that I'm not going to do a blind let's play anymore. I'm probably not gonna do any blind let's plays just because again I don't like unless like I don't know like. Couple couple of months ago, actually, it's almost like it's been almost eight months. I did one episode of a, of a Dead Space, and I called it Full Play, I guess, because uh, in um, in honor of my idol Michael Jones. And I was thinking about continuing that series, but we'll see about that. But anyways, my uh, goal right here 
It's to, uh, oh, I don't have any moves, I forget. I'm not gonna do the tutorial, uh, just cause it takes forever. It takes freaking forever, and I'm not gonna do that. I do know all the movies so far, and I'll tell, I'll tell them to you, and I'm gonna be like, oh, listen to bottles, huh, <laughs> the short side in the mall. <laughs> See, as you can see, I'm speeding up the title, and they're like, blah, 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 blah. they're like speeding super fast, which is really funny, actually, if you think about it. <laughs> Kazooie in particular, like, the way she talks is just funny. Where's my sister Tootie? The ugly witch girl Hilla swooped out of the sky and grabbed her. Well, what a pity. <laughs> that didn't rhyme. I can't rhyme like Grunty. Grunty has some amazing Dr. Sue skill. I'm pretty sure he's uh, she's descendant of him. No, her lair is, like, way bigger than it appears to be. I guess it is carved into a cave, so I guess that uh, leaves, leaves her space. Decline training. You bet we're good enough. Bottle bear. I thought it said bear. It said brain, actually. Alright, but anyways, I know all the moves and I'll teach them to you. But anyways, first of all, there's a life you want to grab back here. So the way to... J okay, so you can jump and then you can double jump and then you can attack. And uh, you can like, uh, if you're like standing, you can do a little punchy thing and you can jump and X and like do that picker thing. So there you go. Now, you can jump a little bit higher if you hold the right trigger and you jump like that. And you do like a, like a swoop and jump higher. Don't do that. Don't do... do you will slide. So be careful with that. Anyway, there's a live up here. The, way, the reason why I'm... Uh, coming up here in the first place is there's a live up here and uh, those little bear trophies that's alive duh -huh. look out for me I am an extra life anyways all right so you see all those little uh, mole hills that's where you talk to bottles and he will give you like the tutorial on how to get uh, all the moves anyways these are enemies you can see they're like just carrots they get a uh, scarier further as we go that is a life contain like if you, if you see my uh, Zelda playthrough that would be the equivalent of um of hearts uh, but over there, as you can see, over there, there's a little, uh, empty honeycomb hexagon. And those, th I didn't know I jumped there, I d there's no need to. The, those are the things that actually increase your life. So think of, again, think of it as, a uh, as, a uh, Zelda, think of it as his heart pieces. If you collect six, as in this guy, this guy is telling you how to do it, but I'm gonna tell you myself. If you get six of them, you'll increase your life bar by one little, uh, honey hexagon. So there is six in this, uh, little tutorial level. And uh, there's one right here, actually, climb the, you can climb threes, and there you go, you got two now. And there's another one uh, down in the water, and yes, you can swim in this game, which is fantastic. It can be slow at times, but, uh, you know. So to dive in, you press X, and then uh, to swim, you press 8 to move a little Banjo's legs. When it'll go faster, press X, and Kazoo will do this little swan. Swan, that's an animal, Robert. Um, he'll do, like, little wing movement that I cannot think of a name for. Over here, what you want to do? Oh, there's another move I forgot to show you. If you hold the right trigger and you play, you press X, you'll do some sort of charge with a uh, Kazooie's peck. So that's what you have to do in this level. You have to destroy all the rocks. And the last one is going to be a honeycomb, a honeycomb uh, piece. Um, so that's pretty much the tutorial. It the tutorial tells you all the moves, and uh, the point is to, of course, get you used to the game. Of course, getting getting honeycomb pieces. All right. So next, let's go. There we go. We already go over there. All right. Let's go. Is that... Where is the... Oh, it's up there. Okay. Over here, we get another uh, honeycomb piece. This is like the combat area. Where they, te they teach you how to roll and how to uh, pretty much battle and stuff. Although, the moves get super cool la later. And there is a sequel to this game. If you guys And if you guys enjoy this Let's Play, I will definitely... I will definitely um, do a, a Let's Play on the sequel. Because uh, I do have it. Oh, I fell in a hole. Because uh, there was this deal on the Xbox Live Marketplace. It was like... Get Banjo Kazooie and Banjo Tooie for like uh, this low price. I forgot how it was, but it was like, it was like awesome. It was an awesome deal. So hopefully you picked that up. If you didn't, I'm not sure. I think it's still on, but uh, if, just buy the games. They're awesome. Again, this game was or originally for the N64, but then uh, Microsoft bought Rare, and uh, luckily, before they completely dedicated their life to do Connect video games, uh, they released this uh, uh, re a HD remake for the Xbox Live Marketplace, and I fell. Alright, so this is going to be a lot of me failing, because I'm not good at games. I don't know if you figured that out already, but I <laughs> I, am a, I suck at video games, especially Banjo-Kazooie. Especially a platform game. Uh, a platform game. I'm not good with those. As you can see, Zelda's an adventure game. It, it has a little bit of platforming, like um, in one of the most recent episodes. There's a life uh, behind the waterfall. Try to get it. Oh, sweet, first try. Alright, um, there is some platforming uh, in Zelda, but still... You know, I'll just, I'll take adventure games over. But this game is definitely worth Let's Playing. And uh, we're done. We collected all honeycomb pieces, and now we have an extra life container. So it's pretty sweet. Now, we're done here. There's nothing else in this world. Uh, or, I, I guess it's this world. This is called Spiral Mountain, by the way. Because, you know, there's a mountain that spiral and leads to the top. <laughs> I am really funny. Anyways. So, yeah. Uh, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah. Platforming games. 
they're fun, and uh, but still, n uh, I would prefer to do an adventure game. Hey, it's Mr. Bottles, Mr. Bootles. So you're ready to tackle the witch now? Why do you have that? What is that accent? Cross the bridge to enter the Gruntilda's lair. What is that accent? Uh, that's, I don't know. For some reason, every accent I do, it sounds like Russian to me. Of course, it's not Russian. Uh, but anyway, let's enter the uh, disturbing mouth with four teeth only. Now, that position that Gruntilda's in, that always scared me. Look at her. She just looks so crooked. It looks like she's just like... I don't know, it was, uh, that frightened me the first time I saw it. This fine contraption, so I'm told, will make me young and tooty old. Let me go, you fat hack. <laughs> My brother will come and kick your butt. But rescue he will not dare. There is many dangers in my lair. Hurry, Klungo, push that switch. I'm tired of being an ugly witch. <laughs> yes, mistress, plenty power is on. Soon be ready. Banjo! <laughs> She's just a little girl. What is she supposed to do? You know? Oh, the classic. The classic grunty laugh. Uh, there she is. The fun begins. My tricks and traps. We'll see who wins. <laughs> God. I See, the laugh is better by her. Hey, Jiggy. Okay. So, this is the point of the game. Hey, it's me, Mr. J. Now go and... Oh my God, I am so sorry. Oh, that is really disrespectful. I did not mean to burp there. I, uh, it came out of nowhere. I truly apologize. But again, if you read what he said, that's the point of the game. Call Jiggies. And there's another one over here. Is that another one? I cannot. No, there's another one. Uh, but there will be a puzzle to solve. So you're here in this little uh, colorful area. And over here, you're going to see a painting. And this is going to remind you, of course, of uh, Super Mario 64. Like I said, uh, this reminded me. We step on his... Uh, Mr. Bottoms will tell us that to enter the world shown in the picture we need to solve the puzzle and those uh, every every single empty Puzzle piece or jigsaw piece. It's of course uh, a jiggy So uh, what you want to do it's um, again It'll tell you to press a and stuff and there's tricks to like fill in all the blanks and stuff But there is nine there is nine worlds in this game So it's not that big of a it's not that large of a not bleh, It's not that big of a game, but definitely worth uh, playing through and, uh, but the, the, the sequel, it's definitely larger, or more, uh, uh, yeah, larger. That was such an easy fit! The others may just taste their Um, but yeah, that's Mumbo's Mountain, that's the first level. But, uh, I wanna keep this, uh, I kinda wanna keep this series short. Just cause Zelda usually takes up, uh, 20 minutes or 25 minutes, it's been taking around 22 minutes each episode. But I wanted to keep this series short, uh, of course the first couple levels are gonna be short levels, but as we progress, like, the last level is probably gonna be like five parts, just cause it's, it's freaking huge, okay? It's disgustingly huge. Nah, no, I'm just kidding, it's an amazing level. But yeah, so, uh, I'm gonna stop the video right here, guys, cause, uh, next video we're gonna go into Mumbo's Mountain, which is our first world. But, uh, I wanna thank you guys for watching this, uh, video, uh, of this episode of Banjo Kazooie. Tell me in the comments what do you think of the game, what do you think of the Let's Play, uh, should I keep on going? And, uh, yeah, so hopefully you guys are enjoying this Let's Play, because I've been definitely enjoying playing it so far. And, uh, yeah, my name is Robert, guys, and subscribe for more, uh, Banjo-Kazooie content. Monsters chase you, they're rare, they're hunting, they'll get a grunty pounding. Yeah, okay, I, I had to do that. Anyways, my name is Robert, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! I said bye with a V.